Just a pilot in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated Weed Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Red Sport that I'm looking at. You can see it's a beautiful day here in Houston. Got the Scat Pack here. And this is the car we are looking to somewhat replace. And this is our Honda Pilot. You can see it's a mess inside, but this is the Pilot. It's a Pilot Touring all-wheel drive you can see we like to go through car washes so it looks like crap but this car has a lot of um, little problems on it like uh, like right there I think someone closed the garage or got too close to the garage door or something like that and that's also what happened here it scraped it I don't know if it's the window that's scraped or just maybe the tent I don't know it's weird though so there's those problems with it and of course it just has lots of little like dings and you know paint chips and I mean it's just uh you know it's seen seen better days. This is a 2012 with uh like 80,000 miles on it almost or 70 something thousand. So let's do a cold start in the charger and then I'll explain the situation. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, the the Pilot is in pretty pretty rough shape. Um, we do still have a loan on it. We don't owe very much on it at all. I'm kind of thinking of how I can get a different car without like completely causing a bunch of problems. So with the condition the Pilot's in, it's not going to get very much of a trade-in. I looked it up and it's like it should be somewhere around 18,000, 17,000, but knowing dealerships, it's probably going to be closer to 15, which doesn't really make it worth it like for 15,000 I'd rather keep the car because the car is actually great it um it runs great I mean 70 70 something thousand miles isn't that bad for a pilot but it's just in rough shape I mean it's been we've had it we've had kids it's my wife drives it every day it's kind of it's kind of beat up not like bad but beat up enough to like not command the top-notch pricing in the um used market it's not going to command top price. So I was thinking that maybe the best course of action would be to actually replace the Accord and then just pay off the the remaining loan on the Pilot. And then we'll have the Pilot as the third car instead of the Accord. And then the main car my wife will drive will be the Red Sport. The main car I'll drive will be the Charger. And if we need to do a road trip or if we need to, you know, move bigger items, something that we would need a SUV for, then we still have an SUV. Of course, if I blow this car up, then I'll be driving the Pilot as well. Or um, hopefully I'll, I'll just roll the Red Sport and get her to drive the Pilot. But I'm sure she'll disagree with that. But anyway, so that's kind of the thought. And um, with doing that, because I mean, I got a lot of good feedback from, from you guys. Like some people were saying like, you know, having a Red Sport is the main family car. And it got me thinking, it's like, yeah, I really do want an SUV, but we don't need an SUV all the time. We just like, it's like nice to have one every once in a while, by far not a requirement. Like you don't really need an SUV. It's just convenient sometimes, depending on what you're doing. That means the, the Red Sport. So, so that brings us to the Red Sport. So the Red Sport, I think would be a really good addition to, to the family. I think my, my wife wants to drive a little bit cooler of a car. She's been in, in mommy vehicles for a very long time mostly the pilot and even before that she drove a um sonata and uh before that she had miata like a cool miata and then before that she had a 240 and i don't know she had a few other cars but she used to have like cooler cars it had exhaust it had uh, rims and tires like like some cool stuff on it but now she's rolling in the pilot so i'm trying to get her in something a little bit more fun because she's still young she doesn't want to drive around in a, a you know an suv a mommy vehicle for forever so trying to find something in the middle 
that I can also have fun with and have fun with on the channel and uh, make some videos on it, mod it. I know you can get tunes for those things where they can, you know, it looks like with just tune only, the people are putting down around 400 to the wheels. And then with a downpipe and, and intake and exhaust, people are getting up to like the 440, 450 range. And uh, with that car weighing only 3,800 pounds, I can see it going pretty good with, um, with 450 to the wheels or so. And I think you can mostly reliably get there with that motor. So it seems like a cool car and I'm actually excited personally to drive it and to mod it and everything. Obviously it won't be my car, but you know, I'll be able to, to play with it as well. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that. I did a lot of research into other cars and I'm still not a hundred percent that it's going to be the red line, but I'm like 90%. One of the good suggestions that I got was the Kia Stinger, but the Kia Stinger isn't really available yet. They're out, I know, but there's more demand than supply. So the prices are at or above sticker. So it's not going to be probably for another year, year and a half, two years. I don't know, depending on how the sales for that car goes, but it looks like they're not, they're going to be doing well based on the, the sales now and the supply now. So it's probably going to be a while before you can get one either used or a new one with a good discount. And those things are like 50 grand and that's just too much money. You know, I just have a hard time paying that much money for a Kia with only 380 horsepower. Even if it is a good car, it's just still a lot of money. Um, the Red Sport, I feel a little bit better about it. It's a, you know, it's an Infiniti, which is Nissan's brand. And it just seems like a, a better car. And it, not that it's so much better than the Kia, but it's it's more proven. Like Kia's, this is the first time Kia's made this type of car. And I know the motors in the Stinger is the same one that they put in the Genesis and stuff. So I don't think, I, I think it's probably good. It's just, you know, who knows what's going to be available in the secondary market and in the aftermarket parts and stuff. It doesn't seem like there's a lot right now. And maybe there's not even going to be a lot in the in the future. Who knows? But right now the, the Red Sport checks all the boxes. I've done a lot of research on it. Seems to be a reliable platform. Seems to be a good car. But that brings us to, to the, um, the money portion. So I did look at getting a Silver Sport, which is just the silver with the 3.0, three liter turbo. And that one is good, but for what you lose in the Red Sport, I think the motors and the drivetrains are like pretty much identical. The Red the Red Sport just runs a little bit higher boost to achieve its higher horsepower numbers. So they're not as different as you would think. I think the turbos might even be the same. The Red Sport just has a sensor to um, monitor the wheel speed, which they try to, they try to keep the, the boost in check on the turbos. That is really is a, a, a wash. And then with the Red Sport, you do get a nicer interior. You get a few future features, like you get the around, around view camera and a few other cool stuff that I, I like. So the Red Sport seems like a better deal, um, not just because the 400 horsepower, because we know that's not, you know, the, the, because we know the Silver Sport can make the same power at the same boost roughly so it's not like a big improvement there and i want to go with all-wheel drive on it so we did talk to the alpha guy um about their q uh q q60 red sport and kind of what they've done with it now it has a built engine and um, upgraded turbos but they did really well with it on the stock turbos and the stock engine they just upgraded it because they didn't want to blow it up they said that there's no no advantage in blowing it up and they wanted to just make that one as fast as possible they are working on some more like bolt-on type mods but they do have uh, rods and pistons available for the, the motor now and a uh, level 10 i think upgrades the transmission in them it seems to be pretty good and i think it's pretty reliable they didn't have any problems with theirs so that's one uh one tidbit i did talk to them for a while and it seems like a good platform they they made over 500 i think 500 horsepower or more on the stock block and stock motor stock turbos but they wanted to turn it up way more so they just went ahead and upgraded a little bit and those upgrades will be available to the public eventually like they're going to start they're going to release their downpipe soon they already have heat exchangers for the coolant and then um also a heat exchanger for the intercooler available now so there's there's things you can do to it to make it faster i think it's a pretty cool car and maybe maybe just maybe i should have thought about it a little bit more before i got the charger i'm very happy with the charger and it is a lot faster than you know the red sport could hope to be but I didn't give it as much credit as it deserved because I didn't realize you can make so much power in them somewhat easily. So I think you can make a Red Sport compete with a Scat Pack for just a little bit of money. But that's neither here nor there. I don't have one. Hopefully my, I can get one for my wife. Um, they are expensive. The ones I'm looking at are in the 45 range. Um, as you know, they, they start at like 52 and you can get them with huge discounts and used. They're pretty pretty moderately priced too um somewhere in the high 30s low 40s if you're going to look at a used one which isn't isn't bad i mean it's, it's within the range of uh one of these scat packs new or used they're they're similar in price so being that i'm going to only be getting rid of the accord 
and not the pilot, the financials aren't, aren't quite so much in my favor. So I'm kind of weighing that. Hopefully I'll be able to make some videos on the Red Sport. And I mean, I look forward to doing that. I think they'll be cool. I don't think there's a lot of people modding Red Sports, at least the way I mod cars where I kind of like to show the differences between before and after. Like obviously we'd thoroughly take it to the track before, do zero to 60 runs before, um, and then do some mods on it, upgrade things and take it back to the track and see what kind of times we can run. Or my wife will be doing all that. I'll just be, um, kind of riding her coattails. I think it'll still be really cool, but the only really uncertainty is like, how is my channel going to do? Because if I'm kind of factoring that into the cost of the car, then I really hope the channel does well. So I kind of set myself a limit and I know I'm not even the best at uploading a lot. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm trying to do better. I think I went like a week without uploading and then um, now I'm getting back in the groove. Um, you really do have to get in the groove to make videos and upload them because it does take a lot of time and editing and everything else. This video, obviously it's just me running my mouth in the car, so it'll be pretty quick, but um, sometimes it gets a lot more complicated than that. Before I get the Red Sport, I want to get the channel to 10,000 subscribers. So at 10,000 subscribers, I will purchase the Red Sport. And I think at that subscriber level, I can, it obviously won't pay for the car. I mean, you can go into um, Social Blade and look at the amount of money I make and it's it's very little. And most of it I just started making recently. So it's, the car will help the money and it'll help me have fun. I think we'll all have fun with the, with the car. So if I can get to 10,000 subs, I'll pull the trigger on the Red Sport and I'm looking at a 17 or 18 red sport all-wheel drive if we get there then i'll pull the trigger on the car um, if not then um probably still do it just at a little bit later time it'll help me build up money a little bit get the pilot paid down a little bit more um, then i'll pull the trigger on that so it's kind of up to you guys if you want to want to see the red sport on the channel make sure you subscribe and um you know share the videos and stuff if you if you can i mean i'm trying to make interesting videos and i really do follow all the feedback I think that's going to be it for this video. Sorry for it just being me talking, but that's just something I wanted to explain. Hopefully a Red Sport all-wheel drive will be in our future, and I think we'll have a lot of fun with the car. I'm actually looking forward to being able to go to the track with my wife, and then we can race each other. She used to drive my cars like she drove my z06 she drove my 240 when they were fast but she hasn't driven a fast car in so long that i i don't i think she's like scared to drive like you know, now I have this car, which has somewhere in the 700 horsepower range, and it's probably pretty intimidating for her to drive. Like, you can't even floor it without it lighting up the tires and stuff. So, I'm trying to get her to work her way back up, you know, eventually being able to drive something like this down the track and not be terrified. But anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, leave your comments on the whole situation below. Peace. Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. We engage in the pavement. Rubber escorts like I'm seeking arrangements. arrangements. Push the gas, escalate the gauges. Escalate hits on the cam girls' pages. Blazes and hit him with a script full of sexy phrases.